gold is very important for your portfolio, you can find a detailed article, Seven Reasons to Invest in Gold, on our website. What are the seven reasons to invest in gold? The first reason is that gold is real money. There are several criteria that money must meet, and gold meets all of them. So gold is actually the best money that mankind has seen for more than 5,000 years. It has always had an equivalent value. The second best money, if you believe in it, could be Bitcoin. Importantly, gold is real money. That is important to understand, and it has always had value to this day. Then gold is also a very rare tangible asset. Of course, gold is not as rare as other tangible assets, but in general, it is a tangible asset that is rare. It's not so easy to open a new gold mine and find gold, produce gold. It's much easier to just print new US dollars or other fiat currencies. You can't print gold just like that. That provides a natural limit to the amount that is available to the market. It is also not assumed that new huge deposits will be found overnight. It can happen, of course, but ultimately this material value is limited, and therefore gold is also accordingly valuable and retains its value in the long term. Then, of course, gold protects your purchasing power. Now, there are people who say, but that is not true. Others say, yes, that is true. Of course, it always depends on how you look at it, but if you look back thousands of years in the long run, gold has always had an equivalent value. If you look back very, very far, there's a very good video on this by Mike Maloney, where he gives examples of what you got for an ounce of gold back in the Roman Empire and what you get today. It was almost the same values as today. So gold generally protects purchasing power and protects you from inflation. This is a very important point, which speaks for including gold in the portfolio. Then gold is also a relatively low risk investment, which is very, very easy to understand. With gold, you don't have to understand any financial securities or anything like that. You have your gold ounce, for example, at home physically, and there is nothing more to understand. You don't have to understand much about this whole subject. It's not complex. It's not a complex financial product because it has such a long history. It is also relatively low risk and does not have the super crass volatility as other values, for example. Then what many people don't even consider, but which is also very, very exciting, you can build up a tax-free pension with gold. It depends, of course, on where you end up living. In Germany, for example, it's the case that if you hold physical gold, that is investment gold for more than a year, then the price gains, that is, if the selling price is higher than the buying price, this profit that you have ultimately made, let's say you bought an ounce at $2,000 and you sell it after a few years for $2,500, then you have made a profit of 500 euros. This increase in value is then not taxed in Germany. And so, theoretically, you can build up a tax-free gold pension in the long term. You can save up gold and then simply sell gold ounces every month in your old age. If you have your tax residence in the right country, then this would be tax-free if this regulation exists in the respective country. So it's also a very, very exciting topic to just think about. Then, of course, gold is a tangible asset that is highly liquid. It's relatively easy to reliquidate gold, to exchange it for dollars. There's a lot of liquidity in the market, and you can actually always find options to reliquidate gold. And then, of course, a very important point is that you can also manage precious metals and gold anonymously yourself, which is actually one of the most important points. You can still buy it anonymously with cash in many countries up to a certain limit. In Germany, this is currently at 2,000 euros. All physical precious metals purchases, which are under 2,000 euros, thus remain anonymous. You can manage these precious metals yourself until your pain threshold is reached. If you say, OK, now I have too much, I don't want to manage it myself anymore, then of course you can also go to professional custodians, vault providers, who will ultimately hold it for you. We work together with Silver Bullion in Singapore, for example. So you can just decide. There are different countries. In your home country, you can keep it. In Liechtenstein, Switzerland, Singapore, and other countries, just inform yourself on our website. There you will find many options to manage your gold offshore.